Hey everybody, it's Cam. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk some stocks. So uh, from now on, I'm going to be doing different types of videos. Instead of doing all uh, like a daily recap of all the stocks I was looking at, I'm just going to make individual videos. So today, the video is going to be GameStop, AMC, and Cost. As those are the big movers. Obviously, Wall Street best plays on GameStop. Um, so these videos should be shorter. Hopefully, keep them to around five minutes uh, instead of ten minute videos. So easier to digest, shorter time period. Period. You know, if you watch them two times. Uh, like I do, I like watch this on two times. You can get out of here quick. So we'll jump into GameStop real quick. Uh, so first, just look at the one minute chart. Um, so obviously quick for scalping, uh, but we'll start lower time frame, go higher here. I think probably the most uh, relevant thing here, looking back, hindsight being 2020, is that uh, the uh, move to, moved today. Um, although we did have this flash crash, we'll get to that too. But here, just on the one minute chart for volume. We do have quite a bit of consolidation here in the low 240s, 230. So if we do keep selling off here after hours, could look to find some support around this 50% fib, which is from the intraday high at 483 to the like dollar 45 low from the previous move uh, back in January. So we'll look to see if that holds in after hours if this thing does start zone off. But it looks like we're getting a little bounce right now. Uh, if we go out to the five minute chart, look at the the moves from today, right? And you can see the volume even more on the left, a little bit more pronounced down there. Um, so one thing of note here was both previous days basically started the day with a kicker on the open. So here the first five minute candle barely broke through the, uh, the intraday high from Monday. And then today we had a little bit different scenario, but the, uh, the poke just happened right here through after hours. So didn't even get close to touching or going low enough to touch the intraday high, but the aftermarket highs that ran into uh, the close last night, 5 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we touched that and bounced off that pretty significant, as you see, just on that five-minute candle. You know, a big wick, and the volume here is dominated by uh, buyers. So, that, but so here we we'll look just first thing in the morning. Popped over the moving averages, really held the 22, and then rode the nine up. All we got the 348. Quick flash crash down to once, you know, 172 here. So a legitimate 50% drop in. 30 minutes, including halt time, so very fast move. Um, but you'll you'll see here when I go out to hourly that this is not the first time GameStop's done that. It did that back in January on a Monday, so we could be looking at a similar type play. But from this this crash here, just we'll draw a fib real quick just to show you. So it did bounce. So we got the bounce, pulled all the way back to the 38.2 uh, fib line. You know, it's a you know area. Some or you know, if somebody does use Fibonacci levels, you know, the the inner three, the 38, the 50, and the 61 are levels you'd like to see um, for retracement. So, right, so bounce off 32. So, if it was possible to short GameStop, I don't even know if Interactive Brokers had shares. I doubt there's mon many available, um, right? And then we want the same move, so you're not short, anyways. But if you were, right, so you could say a rejection there, couldn't get through 50, that'd be a potential, potential spot to short. But then conversely here, right? So we go go through 61, consolidate on the 61. You know, we get get wiki here on the five minute. So there's probably you know some uh, inside candles on the the one or three minute chart that you could get in on. So you you could buy off the 61 and play that back up. So you can that's one just one way to use this. Probably make a video about that going in the future. But you see, after hours are we are now picking back up. So GameStop does like to move in the after hours. So this could move pretty quickly. And then now we'll just jump out to the one hour chart and hopefully this can go back far enough. I gotta edit it real quick. But uh, so the other day where we had that quick flash crash happened on January 25th, so on the Monday. So uh, first thing in the morning, right? So we took off in the morning here on the, just a one hour candle. So seven to eight AM went from 85 all the way up to 159 and then you know in the next two hours sold off from 159 all the way down to 61 so that what that's like uh what almost 60 70 percent drop in two hours and then after hours kind of quiet but picked up towards the end and then we stayed higher the next day and then we took off um so that, could that be a potential move that's coming today maybe um but there was another time where gamestop previously did have a huge swing intraday and then did go higher the next day. So that is, you know, some history you, you would like to know. You know, it could be useful information. 
So here on the hourly, you'll see that uh, we pulled back to 172 where we did consolidate here on Wednesday, Thursday, at the end of February, the 24th, 25th. And then we consolidated around this 186, you know, bounced off 168 level on this 9 EMA on the hourly on Monday. Um, and then if we zoom out here to the daily, <coughs> you'll see that we actually basically touched the uh, 9 EMA. Just remove the fit so you can see it. Right, so we, you could say it bounced off that, and yes, I know, like as it's moving, that 90 MA wasn't exactly there, right, because it uses the close off this period, so as, if it was down here, it would be lower, right? So, um, but area of uh, interest, you know, possible indicator something could reverse, and that's what, what did happen. And just to look at on the daily, where we're at, uh, obviously a ton of volume below, 150, you know, down to 200, uh, but still, kind of in the range even where we got today there's not a lot of volume you know between 200 you know to 400 really so we're kind of sitting in the middle here 265 was a close this candle really you know it's a red red doji candle uh, big engulfing but uh, we we are up seven percent from the close of yesterday so that is a positive just the way that, you know the charts drawn here um, but I don't think this invalidates any any setup going forward for you know, squeeze potential. I think all those things are still in play. We got, you know, good news, bullish news that the uh, um, states' economies are going to be open up, right? Stimulus bill just passed uh, in the House. Biden's going to sign it Fridays, which means all those $1,400 stimmies are coming out next week. And there's been multiple surveys saying that, like, about 40 people say they're going to be investing some portion of their stimulus. And this thing is going to be hyped. Obviously, it's going to be hyped up in the news right now. Um, Literally, it was being talked about on CNBC, like right as it started dropping today. So it's like, is that a coincidence? You know, kind of weird. Gets conspiracy there, but uh, um, I think they'll probably this will be in the news cycle. They'll hype it up. You know, they'll try to get this thing riding up and then pull the bag, pull the rug on some people later down the road. But I do think that's down the road. So for right now, I think uh, <clears throat> you're just going to watch price ac action tomorrow. Pre-market stays up. Um, we'll look for that curl up higher, uh, just like happened on the January twenty. 25th and 26th. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Um, check out my AMC one that I'm going to put up after it does earnings today, uh, later tonight. And uh, if you like this style better, please let me know in the comments. Um, open to your feedback. I, I'd, I'd like to know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.